Hello Capricorn, thanks for clicking into Witchy Woo Tarot. My name is Christina and I've been studying astrology and reading tarot for several years. My goal is to help others with my intuition and channel messages that need to come through for you. So the readings are timeless, just be sure to take whatever resonates for you, past, present, or future, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This reading is for the general collective of Capricorn. Not every reading will resonate, so be sure to check your birth chart for your moon, Venus, and rising signs to see if those videos have messages you need to hear. So Capricorn, as I was concentrating on your energy this evening, I couldn't help but feel like you guys are all about your business right now. Um, I kept getting the image of Scrooge McDuck diving into the vault of gold coins. <laughs> so, you know, watching him, this duck dressed in a suit, just backstroking through those gold coins, just living his best life. You know, so some of you might be coming into some money right now, or, you know, others might just be worried about losing money. So, um, and I'm being shown a vision of a coin being flipped in the air. So it could go either way. I just know that money is definitely on the brain right now. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some cards for you from the Enchanted Tarot. Just bear with me because this deck is extremely large and I ain't got extremely large hands. So I'm going to go ahead and do my best. Um, and, you know, for those of you who are worried about your money at this time, just... Just know it's it's absolutely normal to feel uneasy and worried about you know your financial stability, especially in these times. Um, but I feel like you guys are so stable and so serious, but it's because you're determined and you're just ambitious and you go after what you want. So, you know. I know so many Capricorns. I have my moon in Capricorn. My brother's a Capricorn. I have friends that are Capricorns. The list could go on and on. I would just be doing a video of shout outs. So, um, you know, while you guys are very serious, you're also some of the sweetest and most just non-confrontational, sensitive creatures. So, you know, just kind of have faith that whatever it is that you're going through right now, that you're going to be able to get through it. So um, I'm going to shuffle one more time, cut the deck, and then grab some energies from the top for you. So if I could get some current energies for the sign of Capricorn, please. Current energies for the sign of Capricorn. Okay, so we have the Ace of Hearts, which is the Ace of Cups. So right now, you know, Ace of Cups is all about new beginnings, emotional enlightenment. Um, you know, maybe right now your cup is running over and I think the water is just probably the intensity of your emotions right now. So, um... Again, I'm feeling really strongly new beginnings with this card. Um, maybe, maybe you're hopeful for a new beginning. Maybe you are, are realizing that a new beginning is what you need. So let's get some energies for the next few weeks for the sign of Capricorn. So the Five of Swords. In this deck, the Five of Swords, this woman is, looks like she's trying to guard herself from the swords, but her hands are kind of flailing in the wind. So it's kind of like, are you trying to protect yourself or are you not? Like, which one is it? Um, I feel just kind of almost, almost an energy of giving up. In the original tarot, you know, you see this guy holding his swords over his shoulder, almost haughty, like like he's going to win or he's, you know, kind of cocky about something, right? But in this deck, I feel like she's got her hands up in the air to show her efforts, but she's also just given up. Um, so, you know, with the Ace of Cups, followed by the five of swords. I feel like maybe right now you have an opportunity 
on the table. And maybe you're just not feeling, you're just not feeling it. You know, maybe something emotional just happened to you where you, maybe you lost your job. Um, maybe you are realizing that something that you had that you loved is spilling over onto the ground and it's no longer the opportunity that you once saw. So with the five of swords here, you know, this can, you can take this anyway. It's, it's a swords card. So communication, yes, but I think more of ideas when I think of the swords. So, you know, right now I feel like you have the ability to kind of put your hands up a little bit and maybe, um, brace yourself. You guys are very resourceful signs and, and maybe right now what you're doing is just kind of defending yourself against your own emotions. Take this how it resonates. It could be, you know, a relationship situation as well. Um, I don't know why I felt guided to pick up this deck, but I really feel like maybe I need to use it for some clarification on these two cards first. So please give me some more insight on the Ace of Cups to the Five of Swords. You know, balancing your emotions can be difficult sometimes, especially when things feel out of control. Um, but I think sometimes it's important to say that, you know, what you think is what you manifest. Thoughts become things. So whatever this turmoil is that this woman's going through, this person, I think they know that they have the ability to manifest this new beginning. But I think right now they're just tired of it. I'm feeling a really tired energy coming from this card. So let's go ahead and get one card for clarification. Wow, so the beauty card came out again, and this card came up last night in the Taurus reading, so um, you could be connecting with the Taurus, but the beauty card in this scenario tells me exactly what I was just saying, you know, maybe there is a new opportunity on the table, a new emotional beginning, a chance for you to start over in some way, um, and maybe you're just kind of closing your eyes to how beautiful this opportunity can actually be. Um, so let's get... An outcome card, please, for the sign of Capricorn. Future energies, please. The Hanged Man. Okay, so maybe some of you feel like you really don't have a choice in this situation. And so the reason you're giving up is kind of like, well, I'm stuck here. I'm hanging here from a tree. I can't get down. And, and it doesn't matter, you know, what's on the table or what I think or what I feel because I don't have a choice. But, you know, the Hanged Man represents someone who has found a new perspective or gone through an awakening. And this makes me think of today's world, like everything's getting turned upside down right now. And I think some of you might be having a hard time with really being able to grasp the reality of your situation. But the outcome, again, Hanged Man suggests an awakening, a new perspective. So hopefully over the next couple of weeks, you'll realize that this situation has come into your life for a reason and that something more beautiful is on the other side. So I'm going to get one um, true love reading card just for anyone who maybe this resonated with on a romantic level. But again, from the beginning of the reading, I was feeling money, 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 money for you guys. Um, so let's get one card here just to get some additional insight. Chivalry. Hmm. Okay, well... In this card, we have a very chivalrous male holding some roses with his steed on his side. He looks like he's real proud of himself. So, you know, for anyone who this is resonating with as a relationship, I mean, you could be talking about a new love, someone new coming into your life, or, you know, someone from your past maybe coming back to 
to give you some sort of an offer. Um, it looks like it could be an emotional offer. Um, somebody wants to take care of you, I feel like, and I think maybe whoever this person is, I think right now, while you're gaining balance and, and getting perspective on your situation, if there's someone that wants to, you know, take care of you and, and, and give you some love, you know, I think maybe you should just, you should just realize that life is kind of like flipping a coin and these things might happen and turmoil is going to gonna come and things are going to be all messed up, but you can't control everything. Sometimes you have to just see things for what they are, see them from a new perspective and gain some clarity um, about, you know, about how you see things. So um, I hope this video resonated with someone. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a great night and take care.